wedding update. Uh, today is the 1st of October and I thought it was about time that I updated you on a few little things. Thought I'd share a few things that have been going on that are quite important to do with the wedding and a few things that I've bought along the way. So the first thing I will talk about is that we have um, found and booked our photographer. Now with our um, package with Caesars Palace we do get a photographer however that is just for the ceremony and I wanted to have like all the getting ready shots, the going out shots afterwards, um, just to have that extra photographer there. Um, photography is really really crucial for me and I am quite happy to spend the money on that. Um, and obviously we um, go and take photos elsewhere afterwards, Darren and I are going to go to a few different locations um, and also as part of the package that we bought with them um, we get a um, it's supposed to be like an engagement shoot but obviously because we're not in um, the States or Vegas um, we're going to do like a day after shoot um, where we can like put on different clothes and um, go to a different location to take photos um, but I should probably announce who the actual company is um, the photographer we're using um, their brand is Susie and Will Susie's like the main photographer and um, she does it with her, I believe, husband, Will, and um, they are just so, so sweet. Um, I found them off like one of these review sites. Um, I sort of narrowed it down to three photographers. I emailed them all, um, just sort of like got a feel of like what packages and prices were and um, just got a feel for the photographers and we ended up going with Susie and Will. I say we, I ended up dealing with all the photography stuff because Darren knows that is very important for me, obviously because I've been a photographer before, um, so he just let me sort of get on with that side of things. So yeah, and I got in contact with them, um, mainly back and forth with Susie and we set up a Skype like meeting and they were super nice. I felt like they really knew what they were talking about. We had the same sort of visions in mind. Um, obviously because they're based in Vegas, they know a lot about shooting and where to shoot and how to shoot. Um, and I was just super impressed with them. Um, and I felt like a really warm vibe from them. So we booked that. And one thing that like a couple of days after we'd signed all the contracts and like paid the deposit, they sent us this gift box and I will um, include it in, I took a little clip of it when it arrived, um, which I thought was really sweet because you know we don't live in the States so it probably cost a bit extra to send it and it was like a little care package of all these goodies. It came with this little card that just said like that now we were officially booked and how like if we had any questions just like we can always feel free to drop them an email and they've just been really really helpful with recommendations and things like that um they can also recommend like um different vendors and stuff for like hair and makeup and things like that um and there's also like this little um booklet of theirs um which just shows um, a few of their photos and a bit more about them. That is Susie and Will there. They're just really, really sweet. Yeah, it just has um, a few vendors at the back that they recommend just to sort of like help you out, which for us is obviously really key because we don't live in the country. Um, and sometimes it can be hard just to like look online. So getting recommendations from other people is great. Um, so as you can see in that little clip, there was a ton of like food goodies, which was really cool. We all tried them. Um, the ones that I like best were these um, gummy pandas. Um, this is the apricot green tea ones by Bissingers. There was like um, a blackberry hibiscus one or something like that. But this was the one I liked best. Um, it's gluten free um, and it has no high fructose corn syrup in it. It's dairy free, um, so as far as like a sweet goes, it sounds pretty healthy. I was just really, really um, like this. My dad really liked the beef jerky that came with it and the, the dried mango. Um, and there was some caramelised, they were like um, creme brulee nuts and they were really, really nice. Um, so yeah, I thought that was just a really sweet personalised touch. Um, and yeah, I was just really, really impressed and I can't wait to talk to them more over the next year. Um, obviously it has come up to, we, we are past the one year mark now, so things are really starting to get the ball rolling. Um, I have now been for two, 
wedding dress appointments. The first one we went to was a place called um, Wed to Be in Southampton. Um, it's in the Marlin Centre and it's one of these shops that you go in and you can actually pick the dress off the peg and essentially take it home that day if you wanted. Um, I just wanted to go there because A, you don't have to book an appointment, so it's great if you want to just go off the cuff one day. Um, but also just to get an idea of what I wanted. I'd roughly know what I wanted because I've had a few like magazines, and, like bridal magazines and sort of know what I want. Um, but I thought I'd go just like a starting point. And it was good, but they had a lot of long dresses and I don't think I really want. I want something like midi length, like T length dress because obviously it's going to be hot out there. And I just want something youthful and modern, but also got that like 50s vibe probably. Um... So yeah, it was a good starting point and it's good if you want to go and get something off the rack and it is fairly cheap. Um, and then the place we went today, and hence we got rained on because we had to walk to it, um, is a place in Portsmouth um, called Creatiques and they have the brand House of Mushki and they're very like vintagey, lots of lace, um, they have a lot of T-length and calf-length dresses, very like 50s inspired, really really gorgeous dresses. And we went in there and it was just an amazing experience. We felt really welcomed in there. Um, I tried on three different dresses and even though I couldn't try on the one that I really wanted because they're going to have to get in from another store, it gave me a really good idea of what I wanted. I tried on headpiece and I tried on a veil. Never thought I'd want a veil but now I'm definitely considering it. Um, and yeah, this place um, obviously it gets made by the brand I believe so you can either have it like to a normal like dress size or they can do made to measure and then also you can completely customize it um the guy who was dealing with us didn't actually get his name um which is really bad but um he was just telling us you can have sleeves adjusted so you can add sleeves if you want you can get them shortened you can get the length of the dress shortened you can get it from like a midi length to a floor length gown like there's so many things that you can customize so it's really really exciting and I definitely have an idea in my mind what I want um, my mum and my mother-in-law to be came um, with us and then in we the afternoon we went over to Gunworth because it was like 10 minutes away and I went shopping um, but yeah and they've just like that creatiques boutique have just won and they literally just won an award last night for like best retailer in England or something so I was just really impressed with it um, and I felt like very warm and they were all really really friendly in there um, because I had been in another bridal shop. I didn't try on dresses but I just didn't get a great vibe from it and I think when you're investing that much amount of money into a dress and like for me it can feel like a bit of an awkward experience but I just felt completely at ease in that place. So that is what's happened so far. Um, but the photographer starts trying wedding dresses. I know pretty much what shoes I want. There's an online company where you can design them um, and there is a return policy if they're not quite what you want, I believe. Um, so I'm gonna look at more into that. They're getting the dress that I want, um, seeing when it, they can bring it down so I can try it on. But yeah, I, was, I just felt like really excited and really bubbly when, from that experience compared to the first one when I went into that other shop. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's sort of what's happened. Um, I'll go on to the haul of things that I've been buying recently. Um, I got this box. I got it to sit above our wardrobe. Um, this is from Hobbycraft. It was probably like six quid or something. Um, and it's just plastic. And I'm putting all the little bits that I buy for our wedding in it. Um, there's a few things that I've gotten um, like gift wise. So a couple of things for my dad. I won't like there's not he's probably won't watch this but I won't show them anyway just in case um but I'll show you the things that I've got for myself um there is one thing that I bought for like our honeymoon um because after we're in Vegas we want to go to LA um and I've bought Darren and I these like um customized Mr and Mrs um Disney ears um and they're getting sent to our place in Florida so very excited when I receive those um I got this bag from not on the high street which i believe is going to be my wedding bag 
so like for the evening even if it doesn't end up being my wedding bag it's super cute like for when we have anniversaries or when I go out for dates with, D with Darren and it's by Harriet Sanders they do a lot of different sort of like personalized um clutch bags that you can um that you can put like your different initials you can choose what color you want things like that um and yeah you can purchase these through not on the high street if you live in the uk um but also they've obviously got their own website which is harrietsounders.co.uk and i got the mrs clutch so it's sort of this like suede material on the outside with this um it's kind of hard to explain like this stamped in like silver um but it's like pebble dashed um it comes with the wrist strap um so like i said this is the missus one they also have one that says i do but i wanted the missus because then i can use this like after the wedding and then you can choose the lining color you want inside which is also suede and i obviously chose the light blue color because you've got to have something blue even though it's not my something blue um yeah and this i believe is real leather and suede so it was about 40 pounds i want to say round about that mark but i just think it's going to be really cute um and it's like that quirky kitsch sort of look that I like. And then the other thing I got, which actually Darren got for me as a little surprise gift. And I got, he gave it to me yesterday actually. Again, you can find this one on the high street. And it's something that I knew I eventually wanted to get for the wedding. But just haven't really gotten around to getting it. He got me this hanger to put my dress on on the day. And it's just, it's been painted white and then um, been lasered with my name. And it says bride underneath this is um like the wood has been lasered out and i just thought that was really sweet i'm not quite sure what company you got it from but i'm sure if you just like put in bridal hangers on on the high street you'd be able to find it and there's a ton of different ones um so yeah that'd be really cool to take with me to hang my dress in um yeah and the company that i um like the place where i'm getting my wedding dress fingers crossed um they also they box it up for you so you can take it on the plane with you um, so yeah, that would be really cool. I'm going to be like, Darren, can you just hold this box of my wedding dress as your hand luggage um, while I just have all the rest of my hand luggage? Um, so yeah, I think that's all that I've got to show you. So a little quick update of what's been going on. Um, yeah, so I will see you in my next update video, which is probably going to be in a while when I've probably got my dress sorted somewhat. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.